So before I get started with this video, I just want to give a big shout out to every single one of you who's been showing me lots of love by leaving comments below and by checking out all my old videos, guys. Thank you so much. It helps a lot. I'm still trying to get a new camera, so if you are willing to help or would like to help, um, there's a donation link to my PayPal account below. You can send any donation of your choice. I am also going to be making stickers for the channel. So if you guys want some stickers, let me know. I will give you a sticker in exchange for a donation. The holiday weekend comes to a close. So does a deadly summer season at Lake Mead. investigating a disturbing crime at Lake Mead. A woman's body was found yesterday. Lake Mead has been ranked as America's deadliest national park with over 280 people losing their lives between 2006 and 2016. Over the past decade, the park has also had the highest number of homicides than any other national park service. So it comes to no surprise that many hikers have heard and seen apparitions of spirits of those who've become trapped between this world and the next. After doing some research and hearing and reading several stories of ghostly apparitions, I decided to visit the area completely alone and spend most of the night in order to do a paranormal investigation. I narrowed it down to the old train tunnels that are now being used as a hiker's trail. It is in this area where people claim that dead bodies have been found and where the apparition of a woman has been seen wandering at night. Some people claim that she can be either humming or singing as frightened hikers pass underneath the train tunnels to reach the other side. Join me as adventure completely alone into one of America's deadliest parks. Something is following me. I am the last person, I am the only person that was back there. And I just, I just stopped running because it sounded like footsteps directly behind me. There's nobody here, it's just me. <sighs> Why do I do this alone? What's up guys, it's Cryptid Hunter. We finally made it to the haunted tunnels out here in Lake Mead. Tonight, I'm gonna be spending most of the night here completely alone, just by myself, and my night vision camera. So, we're gonna be exploring this area because many people claim that these tunnels are haunted. Some people claim to see the spirit of a woman that comes from the back over there to towards the hikers other people claim that there have been dead bodies found here murdered so i am here completely alone we're going to be exploring this tonight it's still a little bit of daylight so we're just waiting for it to darken up i'm going to turn on the night vision i'm completely alone so it should make it even creepier with the night vision on there's going to be no lights just me my night vision camera my spirit box and my dowsing rods so if you guys see anything Please make sure to leave a comment below and let me know at one minute you saw a spirit apparition or heard something. All right? We're going to go explore these tunnels. We're going to check out and see what's in here. And hopefully a spirit comes out and talks to us. Let's go. I literally heard some kind of voice or some kind of humming coming out of this area over here. But it also sounded like it came from the very first tunnel over there. So I'm going to try to uh, go over that way and see if maybe we can communicate with whatever's over there. I mean, I had been told. I had been told before that when people are hiking up here they see or hear what appears to be or what sounds like a woman 
she's either singing or humming or trying to say something so they usually hear her on the first tunnel that we passed earlier so i'm heading in that direction since i had zero luck over there i mean the video is not even worth it because nothing came through on the on the camera so i don't want to waste your guys' time in showing you footage that's not going to show anything unless you want to see it if you want to see me go through the entire scenario the whole thing let me know in the comments and i will cut my edits a little more so you can see every single thing that i do well most of what i do all right so anyways let me know in the comments guys we're approaching the first tunnel let me flip the camera around so you can see what i'm talking about this timber right here looks pretty old it looks to me like it's getting ready to rot if it's not rotten already look at this it's really old really old timber guys so i don't know what do you think i think i'm gonna go ahead and set up on this tunnel because like i said just a little while ago i don't know if it was the bats flying starting to fly out or flying around the cave or the tunnel but i thought i heard footsteps i am the only one here as you can tell as you can see if there was somebody else here I'd imagine that we'd be able to hear, or not hear, but see their flashlight and hear heavier footsteps. So I'm going to sit up here and hopefully we can communicate with whatever might be here. According to little information I was able to gather, there was a body that was found dead in this tunnel right here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to communicate with it and uh, see what we get. All right. All right, guys. So I have the EMF detector on. And I'm gonna see if anything here would like to communicate with us. If anybody or the spirit of anyone is in this cave, could you please make my EMF detector go on? If there is anybody in here with me, can you please come close to this light so you can make it come on I am here trying to communicate with the spirit of whoever might be in here with me is there any way you can come out and talk to us I'm not here to hurt you I'm not here to disrespect you, we just want to communicate with you, see if you're still around. No. All right guys, so I keep hearing what sounds like talking. I can't tell what direction it's coming from. I don't know if it's because of the marina that's down there, the noises being, or the sounds are coming this way, or there's actually something legit here. So I'm gonna try the, the spirit box and see if we can communicate with whatever's here. In the meantime, try to keep your ears open because I definitely hear what sounds like somebody speaking. I hear footsteps now. Maybe there's other hikers out here, but it's really dark. It's late, as you can tell. You can you can probably barely see me now as it is. So I do have a flashlight. So I think, I think maybe there's somebody else coming, but I'm not sure. Alright guys, so I have the spirit box here with me and I'm going to try to communicate with whatever is here. So if there is something here, like I said, hopefully it can communicate with us through here. I am hearing voices, but I don't know if it's another hiker coming up or if it's coming from the marina down there and it's carrying the sound wave this way. So we're going to try to see if we can talk to whatever is out here. Is there any kind of spirit here that wants to communicate with me tonight? Can you please say yes or no to this device?
I think I heard a female come through. Are you the same female as haunting this tunnel? If you're here next to me, can you come closer and talk to me through this box? Can you tell me your name? I don't know what that said. I don't know what that said, guys. So maybe somebody can hear what it said. I'm going to replay that. Can you come closer and talk to me through this box? Can you tell me your name? Can you come closer and talk to me through this box? Can you tell me your name? Are you male or female or are there two of you? If you're female, separate the rods. If you're male, cross them. Oh. What the heck was that? Hello? Hello? Anybody with he with me? Oh, kind of nervous. <laughs> Anybody else out here? I'm gonna try to replay that. See if uh, see if I capture that on camera, guys. Whoa. What the heck was that? Hello? Point in the direction where you're standing. Cross the rods if you just made that loud sound that made me jump. You make my, my one of my rods spin if I'm not alone. Can you cross the rods if you were murdered here? Thank you for communicating with me. I appreciate you. All right, I'm going to leave now. I appreciate you talking to me. Please do not follow me home. You have to stay here. I will be back. Cross the rods if you stay. Thank you. I can't help but think that I keep hearing footsteps and I don't know where they're coming from. But I've been here for a few hours now and we didn't get much communication but we did get a little bit guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this investigation a night. I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit nervous. I am here completely alone. A lot of people ask me why I do it, and honestly, I don't know. I think I like the thrill, but at the same time, 
I need to be careful because like I mentioned earlier people have been found murdered here and bodies have been found there murdered so I don't want to be a next victim so so please remember to like share and subscribe let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you want to see me make if you want to see me do more solo paranormal investigations or if you want to keep coming having me come out with a team I'm gonna keep rolling the camera all the way out because I hear footsteps and I know it's not just my dang imagination so if there's not a hiker on my way out I'm gonna be very very surprised and hopefully you guys can hear them too Something is following me. I am the last person. I am the only person that was back there. And I just, I just stopped running because it sounded like footsteps directly behind me. There's nobody here. It's just me. Fuck. Why do I do this alone? I still got about half hour before I get up to my car. It's a long trail.